So why do I say not to do return to work interviews? I don't mean avoid the conversation, absolutely the opposite. It's absolutely critical if you've got an employee that's been off sick for a day, a week, a month, six months, that you actually have a discussion with them when they return to work. And that discussion is not, in my view, an interview. And I see too many organisations and too many managers that deal with it just like an interview. And there's a scripted set of questions and we don't deviate from those questions. And once the form's filled in, the process moves on. For me, it's actually a welfare discussion. And it's a really, really critical welfare discussion. And in my experience, there's so many occasions where whatever the employee is running sick with or whatever they've put on the fit note may not be the real reason that they've been off sick. And they may be masking cultural issues, issues with, with colleagues, etc., etc. Anything um, could be the real reason for their absence. And to have that really good quality conversation for the genuine employee is a really positive thing. And it helps you to get to the root cause of the reasons for the absence and therefore helps you to get the person back to work more quickly and to stay in work in a more sustained way. For any employees that are not genuinely absent, if you can imagine working for a manager that you know will always have a good quality conversation and invest time in you when you return, if you're taking the mickey and having a duvet day, it's not going to be a comfortable conversation. You're not going to look forward to that conversation. So it works from all angles. But the reason I say don't do return to work interviews is it's not an interview, it's not an interrogation, it's a welfare discussion. And invest that time in a good quality conversation and you will have a much, much better result.